y'all welcome back to my channel my name is ikea if you're new here thank you so much for joining and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back you are definitely a real one but you already knew that i am back y'all i'm back from vacation and i am posting and sharing again i feel like Every time I take a little break, even if it's for a week or so, I feel like it's been forever, but I am back. If you didn't know, I went on vacation. I went to Perry and I really enjoyed myself with my family. And honestly, I was really just kind of off social media. Well, I was posting on my Instagram here and there, but I wasn't really sharing too much on YouTube. So I just wanted to enjoy time with my family. So when I was in Paris, I received a package, which is the brand new fragrance from BDK, which is their extract version. And honestly, ever since I returned, I have been wearing this fragrance. So today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the brand new fragrance from BDK, which is the Grisha Now Extrait. I'll also be doing a comparison between the new fragrance and the original and letting y'all know all the tea. So if that is something that you're interested in, then keep on watching. And before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, of course. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to click on that notification bell so you do not miss out on a single video. with me the brand new fragrance from BDK. This is their Gris Charnel Extrait. And y'all, I am so excited because first of all, I am obsessed with Gris Charnel and I just feel like it can't get any better than the original Gris Charnel. So I'm really excited to open this up with y'all and just let y'all know all the tea. So this is actually not a first impression. I have actually been playing around with this for a little bit for about maybe two weeks or so. So I can give y'all all the inside scoop on this fragrance. So it comes in this beautiful black box and then you just pull the fragrance out like this and the bottle is absolutely beautiful. I love that this is a black bottle. This is very different than most of the fragrances from BDK. They're usually clear and you can kind of see the color of the liquid but since this is an extra right I love the fact that this is a black bottle. Now I may be mistaken Mistaken, but I believe this is their first extra of any of their fragrances, which I am so excited because the fact that it is Gris Charnel just makes me so excited. Again, Gris Charnel is my favorite fragrance from BDK, and I have talked about that fragrance on my channel quite a bit. So I'm just like, how is this going to top? How is this going to compare and how is this going to top the original? That's all I care about. So let's just get into the tea. Okay, so I am going to be comparing the extra version to the original. And first, I am going to read off the notes of the extra version. So, in the extra version, there is cardamom, there's fig. Also, there is black tea, some iris, a little bit of bourbon, vetiver. There's also a note called cystus in here. There's some sandalwood, cedar, Madagascar, vanilla, some patchouli, and tonka bean. Okay, so I'm going to just spray this immediately on my skin. I'm not gonna spray it on paper just because I've already been playing around with it. I don't really need to know what it smells like on paper, but I'm gonna spray this on my skin just to let y'all know what notes stand out to me and my thoughts. And then we're going to pull out the original and kind of give a little comparison. Mmm. Okay, y'all, I just want to start this off by saying that I love this fragrance. So that's just how we're going to start this off. Now, how I would compare this to the original is totally different, but I love this fragrance. To me, this is really woody in the opening. It's still a little sweet and you can smell that black tea, but I feel like when you first spray it on your skin, you definitely smell some of the woodier notes, like the sandalwood and then also a little bit of that cedar. Yeah, it's pretty woody. And then I'm getting some patchouli in here as well. Now, when I say it's woody, it's not like super animalic. It's not super screechy. 
it's like a nice smooth woody note the sandalwood in here seems like it's pretty creamy it's just not super rough which i really enjoy mm -mm -mm. Uh, so this still has the similar DNA to the original where that black tea and that fig kind of stand out. But the sandalwood, like, as I mentioned before, and that cedar, even the patchouli is really present in the opening of this fragrance. So this is just more woody to me. I still really enjoy this. Mm -hmm. I love woody fragrances. And so this fragrance is definitely captivating to me. It is like grabbing my attention, especially because it does have similar DNA to the original. I just really love that sandalwood in here. And as it's drying down, the fig is really starting to stand out a little bit. Now it's not super sweet, but I can definitely smell that fig. It's not like super jammy either. Really the more prominent notes to me are the sandalwood and the fig and that patchouli. However, you can still smell that black tea. It's playing in the background and the fig is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I think that sweetness is also coming from that Madagascar vanilla. There is a little sweetness to this fragrance and it's not like super sweet. Again, as I mentioned before, that woody notes are really standing out to me, but the fig and the vanilla, once it dries now, it is really starting to stand out a little bit more. Initially though, in the initial spray or the opening of the fragrance, I wasn't really getting that. I was just more getting the sandalwood and uh, more of the patchouli and cedar. But now that it's drying down, I'm getting a little kick of that vanilla and that fig and the black tea. It smells so, so good, y'all. Ooh, I love this. Okay, so I actually have the original fragrance right here. And y'all know this is my baby. I love me some Gris Charnel. Now, Gris Charnel is a little woody. Um, to me, it's more of a black tea fragrance. It's even a tad bit aquatic and somewhat fresh. Um, it's not super heavy though, but in this fragrance, there's also black tea and fig. There's a little bit of cardamom in here and some iris. There is also vetiver in this fragrance as well. Now, mm, y'all already know I love me some Gris Charnel, but I'm gonna spray this on my other arm. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> mm, 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 mm. Okay, now as I'm smelling Gris Charnel, the original, I will say that the black tea is more present in the opening of this fragrance. I am definitely getting that black tea. And then I also smell vetiver a little bit more in the um, original. The black tea and the fig and the vetiver is definitely what I smell. Mm. iris is also what i'm getting in here you can definitely smell that fl that floral note now in the original it's not super powdery like sometimes iris can make your fragrance powdery i don't find that it's super powdery in either of the fragrances but i can definitely smell the iris it's a little bit more present in the original versus the extract Yeah, so the X straight, as I mentioned before, the woodiness is absolutely beautiful. Now, as it's drying down, it becomes a little bit more soft, and that's when more of the sweeter notes start to stand out, like the vanilla and the fig. I can still smell some iris in the X straight as well, but it's not as present as the original. Mmm. Mm. Okay, so my thoughts on the Gris Charnel X Straight. I actually, again, really love this fragrance. I think it's so beautiful. I do like that it has similar DNA as the original, but it also still has its own uniqueness. This one to me is more woody. I would also say that this fragrance is actually a little bit more masculine leaning as compared to the original. The original is right down the middle to me when it comes to a unisex scent. It doesn't lean 
either way but this one to me leans a little bit more masculine but not like super masculine um I definitely feel like anybody could wear this fragrance especially if you're into fragrances with woody notes and as I mentioned before the woody notes in here like that sandalwood and the cedar and even like more of a smokiness of that vetiver it's not super like anomalic super screechy it's actually pretty smooth and I think it's because it's mixed with the fig and the vanilla you can definitely smell some cardamom in this fragrance though a little bit more than the original that cardamom is definitely present and I do still of course get the black tea like overall both of these fragrances are black tea fragrances and I absolutely love black tea now I would actually say that the x straight is a pretty long lasting fragrance um I wore this out a few times already and it has lasted me like all day and night so when I say all day and night more than 10 hours I've had this on and it has lasted me the entire time now that's if I spray it on my clothes on my skin I would say that this lasts about eight hours before it gets really really soft and more of a skin scent but on my clothes if I like don't if I like wear a jacket or something like that I can definitely smell it on my clothes the next day as far as um compliments or what or whatnot um I actually wore this out a few times last week and I received a few compliments and one I got from a male and then I think I received maybe two or three from women so as I said it's a unisex scent and it smells absolutely good all right so for the real tea I know y'all want to know which fragrance I would choose and I would actually still prefer the original over the extra now honestly I think that I will probably just drench myself in both of these and even layer them together but if I just had to choose one I would still choose the original just because I feel like the black tea note in this one is absolutely beautiful it's almost like a watery note and I absolutely love that one and this one is just more woody in a sense which again I still think it's really really beautiful do I think that you need both of these fragrances um I feel like you can definitely get away with getting both of these fragrances they do have similar DNA but they do have their own uniqueness and they're still very different to where you can definitely wear both of these or you can have both of them in your collection as I mentioned before I think the x straight is just a little bit more woody and leans a tad bit more masculine not super masculine but it just leans a tad bit more masculine in comparison to the original but both of these fragrances are absolutely beautiful okay you cannot go wrong with either of these fragrances it's really just based on your preference if you like something that's just a little bit more woody then I would just say that this one smells a little bit better but I will also say that the original is just a little bit more sweeter you can definitely smell that fig in the opening along with the black tea. So it's really just your personal preference, but I enjoy both of these fragrances. Now, do I think that these are um, blind buy worthy? I actually would say that they are blind buy worthy. I think that these are unique as well, but they're not unique in the sense that they're super off putting. They're very beautiful fragrances. I would say you can get away with wearing the original during the daytime or even like maybe like a brunch or a nice evening dinner. And this one, this one was still the show at nighttime. So if you had both of them, that's probably how I would wear them I would wear the original during the day and the extra at nighttime or even just layer the two for an extra bang but as I mentioned I think that these are both great blind by worthy fragrances and you just can't go wrong with either of the two or you know if you want to be fancy and be like me just get both of them so I would just like to say that BDK definitely did their thing with the Gris Charnel X Straight. I feel like they did not miss the mark on this fragrance. And sometimes it's really difficult to do a flanker. And I feel like this is amazing. They did an amazing job with this flanker. The X Straight version is just as great as the original. And honestly, I'll be drenching myself in both of these. Y'all, I love me some BDK. And every time they come out with a fragrance, I'm always interested to see what they're coming out 
out with. And this fragrance was no different. I was very, very curious. And I, as I said before, when I saw that they were launching a new fragrance, I immediately went to their website and purchased this because I just needed it in my life, especially because Gris Chagnel is my favorite. Now, I don't know how I would rank this in comparison to all of the other fragrances that I own from BDK, but honestly, Gris Chagnel is my favorite. And this might just be number two because it is so good, okay? It is really, really good. So that is my kind of review and my thoughts on the brand new fragrance from BDK, which is the Gris Chagnel Extrait. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. As always, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, of course. Comment down below if you've tried BDK fragrances. Let me know what your favorites are from the fragrance house because as I mentioned before, I love me some BDK. And y'all already know I'm nosy and I just am curious to know what you all enjoy as well. So again, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And do not forget to check me out on social media. My Instagram, TikTok, and my Twitter will be linked down below. So if you wanna check me out on there, then feel free to do that as well. I thank y'all, I hope you have a great one and I will talk to you later. Bye.